Welcome back to the Crime Chronicles. In today's video, we're diving into one of the most disturbing and bizarre criminal cases in recent years, Sarah Boone's suitcase murder. This tragic event took place in Florida in 2020 and left many people stunned due to the cruel and unsettling details. Sarah Boone, a woman who initially claimed her boyfriend's death was a tragic accident, is now facing serious charges. Stay tuned as we unravel the shocking story of how a supposed game of hide-and-seek took a deadly turn and resulted in the horrifying death of Jorge Torres Jr. Let's get into it. The Sarah Boone suitcase murder case revolves around the death of her boyfriend, Jorge Torres Jr., a man who tragically lost his life in February 2020 in Winter Park, Florida. Sarah Boone and Jorge Torres had been involved in an on-again, off-again relationship that was reportedly tumultuous and marred by arguments, heavy drinking, and possible abuse. They lived together in Boone's apartment, and it was there that the events leading to Jorge's death unfolded. On February 24, 2020, Boone made a frantic 911 call, claiming that she had found Jorge dead inside a suitcase. According to her, the two had been drinking heavily the previous night and decided to play a game of hide-and-seek, during which Jorge willingly climbed into a suitcase as part of the game. Boone said she zipped him inside the suitcase, but later she allegedly passed out after falling asleep in another room. The next morning, when she woke up, she claimed to have discovered that Jorge was still in the suitcase, unresponsive. Boone's initial explanation was that it had all been a horrible accident. She told the authorities that she believed Jorge could easily unzip the suitcase from the inside or that she simply forgot about him as she passed out. Her story seemed bizarre, but possible, at least at first glance. However, investigators soon discovered troubling evidence that painted a much darker picture of what happened that night. As the investigation unfolded, police discovered videos on Sarah Boone's phone that contradicted her version of events. The footage was captured the night of Jorge's death and showed him trapped inside the suitcase, desperately pleading for help. In the videos, Jorge is heard telling Boone that he couldn't breathe, begging her to let him out. However, Boone can be heard in the background laughing and mocking him. At one point, she even says, This is what you get for cheating on me, and This is how I feel when you choke me. The videos show Jorge's growing distress as he struggles to breathe and escape the confines of the suitcase. Despite his repeated pleas, Boone does nothing to help him. The recordings revealed a cruel and callous disregard for his suffering, with Boone ignoring his cries for help. This damning evidence directly contradicted her claims of a playful accident and instead suggested that she had deliberately left him to suffocate. Additionally, the autopsy report confirmed that Jorge Torres Jr. died from asphyxiation, and the medical examiner noted injuries on his body that were consistent with someone attempting to escape a confined space. The autopsy results, combined with the video evidence, presented a devastating case against Boone, indicating that Jorge's death was not the result of an unfortunate accident, but of Boone's deliberate actions. Following the discovery of the videos and autopsy results, Sarah Boone was arrested and charged with second-degree murder on February 25, 2020. Second-degree murder suggests that the act was not premeditated but occurred due to a depraved mind and reckless disregard for human life. Prosecutors argue that Boone's behavior in the video, laughing at Jorge's pleas and showing no concern for his well-being, demonstrates the necessary malice required for the charge. Despite her arrest, Boone continues to maintain her innocence, claiming that she never intended to kill Jorge and that his death was an accident. She has argued that both of them were intoxicated at the time, which impaired her judgment and caused her to fall asleep without realizing the severity of the situation. Boone's defense team will likely focus on this narrative when the case goes to trial, but the video evidence makes it difficult to defend her actions as mere negligence or intoxicated behavior. The case has gained widespread media attention and sparked significant public outrage. The disturbing details, particularly Boone's cold and mocking responses to Jorge's suffering, have made the case a subject of intense scrutiny. Social media exploded with reactions, many condemning Boone for her actions and expressing horror at the video footage. As of today, Sarah Boone is awaiting trial, 
Her defense team is expected to argue that she had no intent to kill Jorge and that his death was a tragic accident. They may try to portray Boone as a woman who made a horrible mistake due to intoxication and poor judgment. On the other hand, the prosecution is likely to rely heavily on the video footage and the autopsy report, arguing that Boone's actions were both intentional and malicious. The trial will likely hinge on whether the jury believes Boone's explanation or the overwhelming evidence that suggests she acted with disregard for Jorge's life. It remains to be seen whether she will be convicted of second-degree murder, but the chilling details of this case have already left a lasting impact on everyone following it. That's the shocking story of Sarah Boone and the tragic death of Jorge Torres Jr. What do you think? Was this an accident or something far more sinister? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more true crime stories and case updates. We'll keep you posted as the legal proceedings continue. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.